and I will be the organizer for today's presentation. Welcome to today's webinar about our Sitka Alaska Dream Cruise fam. We are happy to welcome today's presenters, Sherry Atkin and Douglas Malachi. Before we get started, I'd like to point out a few features on your screen that will allow you to interact with us via the web. We will be answering your questions at the end of this presentation. To ask a question, you will go to you will use your GoToWebinar pane. Near the bottom of this pane is an area that says Questions. If you click on the arrow next to where it says Questions, it will open up a window pane. This is what you will use to communicate with us. If you are having trouble hearing this presentation, please make sure your speakers are tor turned on. If you called in, try hanging up and dialing back in again. You can send me any technical issues via the questions pane and I will try to answer them and I will respond to you via that same pane. Please note that all audience members are muted. We certainly want to hear from you, but we have so many people on the call that the background noise will be prohibitive and we want to ensure that everyone can hear the entire presentation. Finally, please note that this webinar is being recorded and will be available for on-demand viewing on our NACTA YouTube channel as well as on ASTA.org by early next week. Now, let's get it started. It is my pleasure to introduce the Alaska Dream Team. Hi, welcome. This is uh, Sherry Aiken. I'm the Director of Tourism at uh, Visit Sitka, the destination marketing organization for Sitka, Alaska. I'm going to do a brief overview of Sitka before turning the presentation over to Douglas with Alaskan Dream Cruises. And he's controlling the slides, so you might hear me um, asking him to flip forward a slide. And Doug, if you can go ahead and bring the first slide up. And flip forward for me. So first of all, let me orient you a little. Sitka is located in southeast Alaska. That's the portion just north of Seattle, next to British Columbia. Sitka is on a island accessible by air and water. Um, the way to get to Sitka is probably, it might be unknown to a few of you, but it's very, very easy. We have direct flights each day out of Seattle and also connecting flights through Anchorage, approximately 6 to 7 into our airport, which lands 737. We have all Alaska Airlines and Delta flies in seasonally in the summer. We also have a ferry system in Southeast Alaska run by the state called the Alaska Marine Highway. And a large cruise ship presence is in Sitka, both large luxury and small cruise lines. All of the um, major lines stop in Sitka, including ultra luxury lines, Seaborn, Silver Sea, Asmara, and Crystal, to name a few. Most are at a dock, but also we have some tendering. And if you can flip forward a slide there for me. This is the typical dock experience for folks that are coming into Sitka on cruise lines. I've whited out the name, but you might recognize the brand of that cruise line. Holland America does come into Sitka on a regular basis. A little bit later in the presentation, Doug will be talking to you about our small destination cruise lines in Southeast Alaska, which include Alaska Dream Cruises. And if you can flip to the next slide for me, please. So Sitka is a very compact walking distance town. It's a year-round town with about 9,000 permanent residents, which swells to about 12,000 in the summer. It's a town with full amenities, including many lodging options, fine to casual dining experiences, and a plethora of locally owned shops and galleries. You can flip to the next slide for me. We're also lucky to have a very mild temperate coastal climate with the world's largest uh, temperate rainforest. We don't get huge temperature extremes in Alaska, so that might be a little different than your preconceived idea of Alaska. If you've been to Seattle or the Pacific Northwest, it's a very similar climate in Sitka. The list of activities is sort of endless in Sitka. We have all of the uh, normal Alaskan Highlights, including spectacular scenery, stunning wildlife viewing, plus we have the added bonus of the unique marriage of colonial Russian history and Alaska Native culture. Uh, Russia was a colonial power in North America in the Alaskan area 
in the late 1700s and most of the 1800s. We're very fortunate to have over 21 historic landmark sites in Sitka, as well as a lot of different activities, including our Alaska Raptor Center, which is what you see on the slide here. She's doing a bird on the hand presentation. These are available to all visitors to Sitka and us locals too. It's year round um, options. You can go to the next slide for me, please. Thanks so much for letting me give you just a brief overview of Sitka. This is my contact information. I would encourage you to go to our website at visitsitka.org. We do have a special place for travel trade and information there. I wanna let you know that um, I was born and raised in Sitka, so I don't mind saying I know a few things about the town and I certainly can give you lots and lots of information to customize your trips for your clients. And with that, I'm very happy to turn it over to my colleague, Doug. Uh, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, I'm sure, for some of you. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit more about Alaskan Dream Cruises and what, what uh, Alaskan Dream Cruises has to offer. Um, at Alaskan Dream Cruises, uh, our motto is true Alaska with true Alaskans. Um, and really what that means to us is um, Alaskan Dream Cruises is owned by the Allen family, um, who are members of the Klingit uh, native uh, tribe of Sitka here. Um, <clears throat> Alaskan Dream Cruises in itself is, is a very young company, but uh, our parent company, Allen Marine, has actually been around for a long time. Allen Marine Catamaran Builders actually started back in 1968. Um, starting in 1970, uh, they started Allen Marine Tours, where Bob Allen, uh, one of the founders, or the founder, uh, started to uh, take people out on, on his catamarans, to showing people around Southeast Alaska, kind of showing people his backyard. Um, <clears throat> over the years, uh, Allen Marine Tours became one of the preferred uh, shore excursion providers to the large cruise ship market. Um, in 2009, if those of, some of you may remember, Cruise West actually went out of business. Was a small, small cruise line uh, that did uh, that did operations here in Alaska as well. Um, and Allen Marine decided to purchase three of their vessels. Um, with these three vessels, who are already set up to do overnight cruises, uh, they actually uh, Allen Marine decided to approach the large cruise lines. They one by one went to you know Carnival Corporation with Princess and Holland and. Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, they went all to, the, to all of the big players because they didn't want to ruin the relationship that they, they had built over the years to ask their permission about starting an overnight cruise line. Um, to their surprise, not only did they get permission, but they were actually highly encouraged by these large cruise lines. Uh, in 2015, we added another ship. It's our smallest ship called the Misty Fjord. It's a small 10 passenger uh, yacht. And in 2016, we added the Chichigoff Dream, and that's what our fam trip's gonna be on. Um, this one is our largest vessel in the fleet. Um, and it's, it currently actually holds about 74 passengers. Uh, we're gonna put, put her through some uh, upgrades over the winter and actually add a few additional suites. We're gonna add a library, um, and that's, she's gonna be able to handle 78 passengers starting next year. Now, the photo that you're looking at on, on your screen right now is of Bob, of Bet, of Bob and Betty Allen. Uh, they're in front of their home next to their totem pole. And this is the site where we embark and debark in Sitka. You st the, the ships still take out off from the dock in front of Bob and Betty Allen's home, right in front of this beautiful totem pole. As I said before, this is the Chichigoff Dream. This is going to be the ship that we're going to be uh, using for our our fam trip for you guys when when we get you on board. Again, currently holds 74 passengers, uh, but we're going to upgrade. Um, she's also going to be getting a new library as well. Ultimately, we'll hold 76 guests. Our itinerary for this cruise, uh, for those of you who haven't seen, uh, it's so Embarkation day in Sitka after you've had a chance to look around for the first couple of days. It's going to be about 1 p.m. in front of Bob and Betty's house. 
Uh, September 17th will be in Glacier Bay where we're actually going to spend overnight there with uh, we'll, we will actually bring a National Park Ranger on board kind of point things out to everybody uh, escort us and give us some uh, so some insight into the into Glacier Bay there that night we're going to be at Orca Point Lodge which is a private lodge of ours I'll give you a few a little bit more information on that in a few minutes here um, and then the 19th we're going to debark in Juneau Uh, these are the different type of cabin categories that we have. These are all available to purchase um, for for the FAM trip. Um, I don't know exactly what's left. We'll have to talk to Don about that later. Um, but our the four categories that you see here um, is the the double A. This the Chichikov Dream has 12 of those. It's about a 109 square foot cabin. The triple A we get we have 16 of those currently. Um, 109 square foot. At, for that one as well has the queen beds uh, three deluxe cabins at 155 and two deluxe suites at 218 square feet uh, there's also a, a smaller category of cabin that will not be available for the fam uh, there's just two we just call them a categories um, those are uh, 105 square feet those are the ones we would generally would sell to to single single guests and I mean they do hit hold two but generally we'll put two guests in those This is a first uh, for any cruise ship, as far as we know. This is a Himalayan sea salt, um, kind of like a sauna, basically. Uh, nice, relaxing room people can go kind of hang out in. I highly recommend when you get on board, giving this one a try. It's it's just really kind of cool ambiance in there. Um, and I think you guys would really enjoy that. All of Alaskan Dream Cruises, uh, we always include rides on dimmery inflate, inflatable boats or dips. Uh, these are highly maneuverable boats. They're very easy to land on the beach, excellent for wildlife viewing. So those um, definitely get some some nice views there. And we have these guys coming up on the whale here in this picture. We also include kayaking. Now, with, with Alaskan Dream Cruises, we actually custom built kayak launches um, for easy, safe loading and unloading. Um, this has been really like a game changer. We get a lot of really positive feedback on this. Can't tell you how many times I've heard a guest say, I never thought we were going to get my mom into a kayak. And if you didn't have that, I really don't think we would have. Um, it's just, you know, some people who might have mobility issues or something like that might feel a little bit more uncomfortable getting out of a boat into, into a kayak. These launchers make it nice and easy. Um, and, and and you really see some people get out there and and be kids again. It's 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 kind of an, it's kind of awesome to watch. So uh, of course, wouldn't be Alaska without our wildlife, right? Um, every one of our cruises, we can guarantee you're going to see sea otters, um, going to see whales, probably going to see bears. Almost every single every single sailing. There's just so much active wildlife in this region of the world. This is why people come up here. And on a small ship cruise is really the way to do it. And then, of course, we got Glacier Bay National Park as well. After Glacier Bay National Park, um, we're going to spend Tuesday evening at, uh, at Orca Point Lodge. This is an exclusive private lodge. Uh, we own it on Colt Island. Um, so similar to the way your larger cruise lines are going to have, you know, the, the Bahaman private islands, we have Orca Point Lodge. Every uh, stay at Orca Point Lodge, we, we bring you in, we feed you. The menu does include king crab legs, flame grilled salmon, prime rib. Uh, there's something for everybody. And yes, that's a real pot of king crab legs at Orca Point Lodge. You will not walk away from this, from this location hungry. Uh, if you do, it's your own fault. So, um, also at Orca Point Lodge, we have a marine life touch pool. Um, several species in here, including sea, sea stars and hermit crab, uh, give you a chance to kind of get up, up close and personal with some of the sea life that we have up here. And then every night we finish out Orca Point Lodge, uh, beachside bonfire and s'mores. So. And this is the type of thing with, with Alaskan Dream Cruises that only we can provide because we are the ones that own Orca Point Lodge. We, we have this private land. 
And that's the difference with coming with the with a small ship cruise line. I mean, I understand there's some people that are going to want the big ship with the casinos and all that stuff, and that's great. And and we definitely we want you to come visit Sitka in Southeast Alaska that way if that's your preferred way. This one is gives you a much more in, intimate way um, to really get in touch with you know the true Alaskan lifestyle. Um, because of Allen Marine Tours, we have a lot of experience getting people off of those big ships, getting them onto our smaller catamarans and getting you in closer uh, to where you can see the wildlife a little bit closer and see you know, those, those whales and bears and sea otters and everything else that there is to see here in Southeast Alaska. With, uh, with our boats, since they're already smaller, we already know the locations. It's already in the Allen's backyard. You don't have to get off of your big boat, and get onto a smaller boat. We're gonna take you straight into that cove and we're gonna stay there as long as necessary, um, as long as our guests want to, um, if, if the sites are spectacular enough. There's not gonna be any need to rush you back to get you back on board that larger cruise ship. And then of course, we're gonna wrap up our, uh, our itinerary here in Juneau. Uh, visit beautiful Juneau down there as well. I um, know you guys will have a good time there. I highly recommend you take an extra extra day in Juneau as well if you haven't been there before. So, um, just a few other things with Alaskan Dream Cruises. This is the rest of our fleet aside from the uh, the Chichigoff Dream, uh, the Baranoff Dream, Admiralty Dream, and Alaskan Dream. Those were the first three the first three ships that we got from Cruise West. Uh, the Misty Fjord is that smaller one that down here in the bottom left. Um, this one, I actually want to go in a little bit into this one a little deeper here for you. Um, the Misty Fjord, as I said before, it's a 10 passenger vessel. Um, so, and we do book this, you know, FIT. You can get, you know, just, just bring single guests on here. This one's going to be for the bit more adventurous uh, guests that you have. Um, you know, people that want to get out and, and experience Alaska more. Um, you're going to have more opportunities on the Misty Fjord to hike, more opportunities to kayak, more opportunities in the dips, all of those things. It's, it's more of an adventure cruise than anything else that we offer, although all of our offerings, all of our ships do have that a little bit. This one takes that out even further. Uh, but what I really want to point out with the Misty Fjord is the tremendous success we've had with, with basically small group charters. Uh, small groups of about six to ten guests. So whether it's a, a close group of friends, you know, three couples, four couples, five couples, or a multi-generational family, um, that's where the Misty Fjord really seems to shine. That because you all you you can actually charter this boat out for seven people for actually about the same that, as what you could send everybody on the Chichigoff Dream for, uh, and actually have a complete private staff. It's like having your own personal chef for a week, you know, your your own ship captain, your your own excursion leader. And you don't have to deal with anyone else, you know, anyone else's decision. It's it's, you know, your group is the group on this one. Uh, so if you have any guests that's specifically looking for something, you know, truly special and unique in Southeast Alaska and they have that that kind of dynamic, um, I, I would highly recommend they take a look at, at this one. It might be exactly what they're looking for and more. With all that out there, um, do we have any questions? All right. Thank you so much, Doug, out here. Let me go ahead and open up the question panel. Just wait a second. Let's see if we get any questions coming in. All right. Um, does not look like we're having any uh, questions come in, but thank you. Uh, as I mentioned before, this webinar was being recorded, so if you'd like to listen to this presentation again, it will be available to all our members on our NACTA YouTube channel and also on ASTA.org. Thank you to Sherry and Doug, our partners at Alaskan Dream Cruises, and all of you that have joined us for today's webinar. This will conclude today's presentation. We hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon.